Sports World said goodbye to a pioneer and a true coaching legend, former University of Tennessee women's basketball coach Pat Summit lost her fight with Alzheimer's yesterday. She was the winningest coach in Division One history, male or female. Yeah. Local Forest Guy Gordon says one of her legacies was practicing with her team in Oak Park today. Yeah, Kimberly and Devin, we tend to judge coaches by the numbers. In this case, uh, eight national titles, 22 Final Four appearances, seven times Coach of the Year. But there are more important numbers, like how many girls graduated in four years under your program and how many came in as girls and left as outstanding women. The coach here at Oak Park says on that score, Pat Summit had no peer. Give me two lines right here. Do the shooting drill where you look around. 20 years before Peggy Carr coached Inkster to a state championship, she was Peggy Evans, power forward for Pat Summit's national champion, Lady Vols. Let's do three man weed right here. She pushed me to that point like I couldn't make it, but on uh, hindsight it was because she knew the potential that was in me. So she kept pushing me and pushing me until I got to that potential. She now teaches her players to reach for the summit every day. Attack! Attack! Hearing her coach's voice echoing in her own. Care first about the person, then the player. Um, she made sure we were in class every day. She knew if we didn't go to class. I mean, she knew everything. It was like she knew everything about us. She knew when we went out, out to party, she knew everything. Peggy violated team rules her junior year, was due to start her senior year on the bench under suspension. Summit demanded discipline and accountability. And Peggy now believes that kept her from making much bigger mistakes later in life. I learned how to make better decisions because of her, because she made those consequences apply to everybody. When we thought sometimes that, oh, it wouldn't apply to me because I'm the highest scorer, or I, I got the most rebounds on the team. She didn't care about that. She cared about you as a person first because she knew if you were a good person that when you got on the basketball court, you'll make the right decisions as well. Peggy left to play her senior year at Ohio State, a decision she regrets, but she and the coach stayed close. Uh, Pat Summit was in the stands when Inkster played for the state title, cheering Peggy on. Uh, they continued to call one another about twice a year until dementia and Alzheimer's stole the coach's memories, including memories of Peggy. Uh, she prayed for her coach's recovery on Sunday. Today, she's just sending up thanks that she had Coach Summit in her life. We're live from Oak Park. I'm Guy Gordon. And, that, and that's her legacy. She lives on because of so many players yeah, that she influenced, right? Exactly. Yeah. She's so much more than a coach, you know, yeah. a mentor, yeah. just a, a <laughs> tremendous. It all. Yeah. All right, guy.